Maybe the most memorable Super Bowl ad of 2018 is the one that didn't air. It only ran online. It's the PETA ad called Redemption. The ad begins and ends with three bells. Three is a symbolic number where the church is concerned, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for example. And while you hear the man begin his confession, we see him entering the church, talking on his phone, and smoking as he bounds up the steps, past a woman who's struggling to make the stairs. The man flips away a cigarette and bolts through the door in front of the woman. In the first 17 seconds, we know we don't like this guy. He's rude, he's self-centered, but the tension of the story is maybe he's not all bad. He seems to want to repent. Yeah, all natural, not so much. Really? Well, you must stop lying and say five Hail Marys. Sustainable. Humanely killed. At 42 yep, seconds after he's heard lie after lie, the priest shakes his head at what he's hearing. The priest says so little in this ad. His reactions do most of the communicating. Remember, reaction is almost always more memorable than action. Bloody horrific death. And just when you think the guy's coming clean, at 53 seconds, he starts defending his actions, which sends the priest over the edge. This guy's not confessing, he's justifying his life. Come on, you can't get that many animals from farm to plate without doing some really shady stuff. The ad uses repetition to drive home a point. What's my penance, the man asks. There is no penance, the priest says. Notice he doesn't say there is none, or there's not one, or not just none. He repeats the word penance for emphasis. What's uh, my penance? like? There is no penance. Oh, so I'm forgiven. There's no forgiving you either. Well, why? I... Oh, for the love of God. We have to draw the line somewhere. The story ends with an action, a reaction, and a reaction to the action, followed by those three bells. Whether the ad is effective or not depends on how the viewer reacts to the descriptions of what the man says happens to the animals we eat. The ad also risks getting caught up in what sins, if any, are unpardonable. It's a sticky scriptural matter that gets emotional real fast. This ad suggests that eating meat is the limit, the tops, the worst sin of all. I recommend that writers edit backwards. Imagine if the ad had ended here. Why? I... Oh, for the love of God, we have to draw the line somewhere. The story would end with a heavy judgmental tone. And what if you end the story where the priest crosses himself then looks at the Jesus statue? That story would end on a heavy religious tone. This story ends with a funny, startled exchange, bringing the story full circle. And it sets the tone as humor even if it's dark humor. Writers should always think about what the viewer is doing when they encounter your message. PETA assumed that they'd be running the ad during the game, right about the time that viewers might be chewing on a chicken wing. This is Al Tompkins at the Pointer Institute.